Hi everyone, welcome back to another video of mine and today we have yet another figure review here this is the resolution of soldiers I believe this is the last piece that um, is going to be released out uh, I mean the line for the resolution of soldiers by Ban Presto this, I, yeah, I think this is the last piece that they will be releasing I don't know why they will cancel it but yeah, um, so here it is it's your normal Ban Presto the box, the box art right in front here and then it says here is volume 6 so there are total of 6 there are um, Goku there is Gohan there is Vegeta this, and then there is this Gohan there is one um, younger Gohan when he was fighting Cell then now he is the adult Gohan and then you have one Trunks and then you have the last one is the Mr. Satan so yeah, all the total there are 6 of them but I only have two right now, which is the Goku and this Gohan. I will be collecting one more, which is the Trunks. So yeah, when I have the money, I will buy them and I will show it to you guys. Then now here is the side of the box. You have the Gohan, the back here. As you guys can see, oh, let me move up the camera just a little bit. You guys can see the hair, the detail of the hair. So yeah, uh, I think it looks really good for the hair. Anyway, let's go back. And then here, you guys can see is the resolution of soldiers. There always come two. One is the like the pure black. And then here, I mean, it doesn't look really black. I think it's dark, very, very dark gray. And then here is the color version which I have. And then yeah, here is just the side. And then here is just the other side of the box art here, the full box art. And then at the bottom here is just say resolution of soldiers you guys can see the future gohan here so yeah so without further ado now let's just take a look at the figure so first thing first let's take a look at the base um this base is just a pure black base and then take a look at the back there is already some dust not sure why and then there is a serial number here I'm not sure you guys can see. It says Ban Presto 2017 made in China. So I'm not sure if this would be a good reference in the future as um, to decide whether it is a bootleg kit. I mean, there are lots of Ban Presto bootlegs right now. So yeah, maybe this would be a good reference for you guys. Anyway, let's take a look at the figure right here. Let me increase the height and I'll get back to you guys real soon. So now here it is, I've adjusted the height, here is the Gohan, the future Gohan. As you guys see, as you guys can see, it can't really stand because the leg here is sort of like bent forward and the body, you guys can see it slant too much forward, the legs here. So you need the base for it to stand. So yeah, but nonetheless here, let me just show you guys the detail. So you guys can see there is a small scar on his um on my right hand side his right eye my right hand side the eye here and then you guys can see his muscles in detail and then take a look at the back here which is the hair which I mentioned just now you guys can see looks really good and here the fun in Mandarin then it's Gohan and then the back here the pants the details. You guys can see it's coming out. Maybe it is in the Super Saiyan form. You guys can see here the belt of it. Wearing the same suit as Goku. And here you guys can see his eyes. Yeah, then here just staring down ready to whack someone. And here you guys can take a look at the shoes. So yeah, now I'll try to put into fit into the base. All in all, I think this is yeah. I, I always think by Bresto um, figures are very value for money. I mean the given the details of it, the and then the paint job as well, it looks really good. But um, the only flaw that this Gohan figure have, which I mentioned just now, that it can't. It can't stand on its own without the base, so that's a slight disappointment. But nonetheless, thankfully they gave us this base, so yeah, it 
can stand right here right now but um because of my camera is looking down looking downwards like that so you guys can relatively see clearly but if i would if you were to stand my from my point of view right it's actually kind of hard for you to see that's why i would recommend you guys put um, this gohan figure slightly at a higher place i at a higher height if you want to see his face i need to put like that for me to totally see his face this height in like that all i can see is just his hair so yeah and then there's a slight i want to show you guys there is some slight chipping of the paint on the hair but yeah nothing nothing too much to complain lah. but yeah here it is anyway for the remaining of the video i'll do like a 360 look, rotation of it and yeah hope you guys enjoy the remaining of the video it for the the video for today um there will be another figure review coming out tomorrow as well so i hope you guys will be looking forward to that and then there will after that be a gunpla review after that so yeah again i hope you guys will stay tuned to that so finally um if you guys still haven't subscribed to me don't forget to subscribe to me because there will be more videos coming out soon in the future and yeah, if you guys have enjoyed this video, please do not forget to drop a like down below. And um, I will leave a link down below on the supplier that I bought it from. The guy is a really friendly guy. You guys can arrange, arrange with him if you guys want to buy some figures or maybe other figures. His store is a eBay link. So yeah, I'll leave a link down below. Until then, I'll see you guys soon. And I hope you guys have a good day.